All right guys, welcome back to another CC Outdoors video. We got Ethan behind the camera and today we are heading out to the Brainerd Lakes area to do some burbot fishing. Slippery. Yes! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! <laughs> there you go, boys. There's your fault. Are you kidding me? That a boy. <laughs> He's doing a 360. <laughs> no way. I did a 360 in my hand. On the spoon. Yeah. <gasps> that thing is huge. Look at you, buddy. You want to get that hook out there? No, I don't want to stick my hand in there. Where is that? In his mouth. All right, guys, we are back off the water now. As you can see, we are in Levi's kitchen, and we're about to cut up this bourbon here and see how good it tastes. It's gonna be good, allegedly. Excuse the fact that Ethan's using a regular steak knife because we do not have a manual fully knife. And taking my time because I don't want to mess it up. So the eel pile's cleaned. Got it cubed up. We got seven up here. We're gonna get it boiling. And then I'm gonna drop a full stick of butter and some garlic salt in this bowl. Literally once that drops in there, it's gonna cook really, really quick. Gonna float to the top. We're gonna take it out, let it cool a little bit. You still want it hot, allegedly. Dip it in the garlic and butter down the hatch. Start it out. All right, so I guess I'm starting since I caught the fish. Um, gonna give it a little taste test here. Dip it in some garlic butter. That's great. I've heard very good stuff, boys. Very mixed things about this. Um, people either love it or hate it, and I love it. So when we were cleaning it, Levi even mentioned that it's like a tough, a tough. Uh, meat or whatever, even run into the filet knife to it. You boil it in that, it like melts in your mouth. And it falls apart when you, like a couple of them just fell apart. That's how I kind of know you're done, especially when they're floating in there. But my goodness, that is awesome. Yeah, we need you to catch some more. I would definitely, I know a lot of recipes we saw use water and salt. The seven upper Sprite that we use, it gives it a sweet flavor as well, so. But just the texture of it is awesome how it melts in your mouth, so. All right, and uh, now that we just polished off a full burbot in about uh, 10 <laughs> seconds, we are going to throw some walleyes and crappies in the frying pan. We're gonna get a little fish marinated. Connor actually turned me on to this uh, recipe, just Frank's Red Hot Sauce. We got some walleyes and crappies that Levi had taken out of the freezer before we got here. 
dump some of this in here. And we're gonna let it sit. I don't know how long this is gonna take us, but the longer you let it sit in the bag, the hotter it will get and the more flavor it takes on. Set like this. So what we're gonna do with the Frank's Red Hot, again, like I said, if you let it sit, the spicier it'll get. I use flour, or if you have some shore lunch, that'll definitely work too. I don't have any right now. So we're gonna kind of do like a little Cajun mix. I got some Wild Willie's GSP Fuego. And we're gonna put some of that in here to taste. When you're cooking fish or anything else, put it a little bit saltier or spicier than what you preferably think. Because once you cook it down, you're gonna lose some of that heat. So a lot of times you go to try your batter, or you think, man, that's enough. And then all of a sudden you go to eat it, and you're like, man, it's lacking some flavor. So I kind of over seasoned it a little bit. Yeah, it definitely needs a lot more. Get that super spicy or just above your threshold of spice. And when it cooks down, it'll knock it off a little bit and it'll be perfect. So we're gonna test this here. We're gonna get the fillets out of the bag. Since it's in the Frank's Red Hot, I don't need an egg wash or anything. I'm literally gonna just drop them in here, coat them, drop in the oil with a little bit of butter. try out the uh, Red Hot here. It is Levi's first ever time trying it and I've never tried it the way Ethan cooks it so uh, yeah we'll get a couple initial reactions to it. Cheers. That's pressed on more special right there. We got the uh, Wild it's Willies. The, uh, garlic salt. Oh it's the Fuego. Yeah whatever it is. This stuff here? Yeah. Whatever it is very good. Wow. Wow! But uh, wow. yeah, I think we're gonna eat some fish, go to bed, and hit some bourbon in the morning. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Later. Later.